Hey gorgeous, welcome back to my channel and today I have a super amazing review unboxing and this is for Fenty Skin. I was able to buy it three days before the actual release date but it was stuck in the warehouse for a very long time and once it did got released I did get it like three days um, in the shipping mail so it was a pretty good shipping but I just think they had so many orders from everybody trying to try it out that they did got a little bit backtrack. So, let's go ahead and get into the review. And the first thing is, the box is very plain and discreet. I did take my shipping off, but once you open it up, it has a super cute color inside saying Fenty Skin Beauty, and it has the items inside. So, another thing is, I received two extra items. I did not pay for this. I got my regular set, and then these two items came in the mail. I don't know if this was a gift for being a first-time purchase, or because of the release date, or because it was a mistake. I have no idea. Fenty, if you're watching, um, I have these. I don't know if you want them back. Please don't, but it's here. I have to be transparent. I did not pay for this, so if it was a plus, kudos and kudos to Rihanna because she is killing the game already. And honestly, that's something I like about her because she is very unique. She does go into detail with your products. And she's doing things that higher brands are not even thinking of. And that is absolutely amazing to me. And also, she's all about sustainability. Sustainability? I can say that word now. But she is all about making sure that, uh, you know, her items are good to the environment. And I am definitely a plus on that. Even though I'm not necessarily always crazy about it. And it's not necessarily something that I need on my products. It's definitely something I want to see. And it's something that it should be the norm already. So, like, come on, brands. Like, pick it up. Like, you need to pick up this slide because you're falling behind so anyways let's just get into the review and something I want to put in a disclaimer is some of the things that I'm gonna be saying I have seen it in other people's videos I have done my own research I have tried it myself so the items I'm gonna show you I already opened them I already tried them myself for probably about a week now and uh, you're gonna see some things that are similar to other people but I'm also gonna be giving my own input and I'm gonna put everything in one video something I noticed is a lot of people are either have been exaggerating have been downplaying it or they are low-key I want to say over exaggerating or not giving enough information or at least not putting all the information together and not being specific and maybe it's because they were rushing these videos and they didn't have a lot of information because they probably received it for free and wanted to be the first videos out there so I'm gonna be 100% with you guys. I'm gonna give you every single detail and every single thing I saw right and every single thing I saw wrong And for the first time I'm gonna be showing you One of the things I saw wrong is the packaging even though I love the packaging The color of this packaging has been going all over uh, social media because people keep saying that these items look a lot like Florence I think is her skincare. I have not tried it. I have not seen a lot of her Florence But I do know that her the Florence skincare is not very um, I'll say successful for what I've seen at least what I have seen maybe I'm wrong if I am let me know down below but honestly I don't care I don't care if it looks similar because obviously the packaging style is definitely not the same to any brand and I do love the color I do love the pastel I'm all about purple it's all around for me so I'm okay with it I don't care if it looks a little bit I mean it's Rihanna she don't need to be copying for nobody this is maybe just what she had in her mind for a long time and obviously she seems like she had put a lot of thought and a lot of work into the skincare before releasing. So she definitely put her work in before she even released this. So she's been working on this for a while. So I don't care about the packaging. It does look a little bit when it comes to the color, but the packaging is completely different. First things first that I love, it is a twist off. So this little fella just twists around and it's so cute. And I've, every single one, this one twists and you can just pump it out. So you just pump it out and you can twist it back in. And then this one is the fat water, which is uh, pretty much twist as well. A lot of people also said that the packaging seemed cheap. And I don't think so. Uh, I don't know what type of packaging you want it, if you want a glass. But if you want a glass, you want to be able to pour this out. And I don't know what you're thinking about. Like this is so good. Like this is super squishy which I absolutely love because it's so easy to squeeze the product one is going to be running out which some products sometimes are so hard and stiff that you can't put the product out and I have seen it like I usually have to like cut my stuff to get all the product and I have seen a lot of freaking product in those mostly sometimes with like Sunday Riley uh, sulfur mask I have so much part of that thing and I couldn't put it out I have to cut the material in order to get the product and I hate that so this is definitely really good, very soft, very smooth. I do love this material. This one, so freaking cute. 
it is again twist off to the pump it has the uh, Fenty uh, Fenty skin logo right over here it has uh, right here even tells you like what to do it says Fenty skin I mean what is there to hate and then if you lift it you remove this and it also says Fenty skin right here and it has all the ingredients in the back so what's the problem with this this is amazing because this is what Fenty is doing so you get your first set and then you can keep the auto package and then you just buy the actual um, uh, replacement and you just put it right back in and you just keep reusing this one and then you just keep switching this one and the only downside to this is that this looks very small and it looks like there is not a lot of product in it but you don't really need a lot so maybe it will go a long way uh, I don't know I will have to see in a couple months how much it held but not bad maybe just a little bit less product but definitely amazing idea and I do love the packaging and it is sturdy and I actually just dropped it five minutes ago and it did not break so I don't know what you mean with cheap this one fella right here does feel a little bit squishy but don't get minded once you do open this and you try to pour it out you have to squeeze because the product doesn't come out right away so that is expensive product because I hate when the freaking product you just open it all over the place so stop saying that this is cheap packaging I don't know what the hell you expect you have to be mindful this is her very first line and you guys are being a little bit savage with some I with some things to it and like don't confuse people because people are trying to buy this stuff so just be as clear and transparent as possible and don't over exaggerate so no it is not the most expensive packaging but it's not a cheap packaging at all and it is very practical and I'm starting to love that word but it's very freaking practical so don't be uh, scare if you hear this it is not cheap packaging and it's definitely pretty good products all right so next thing I keep hearing a lot and a lot of people are worried or don't know if it's hundred percent true or not these products are for all skin types all ages all skin colors a lot of people are like oh she's only doing this base for people with dark skin blah 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 I'm like well yeah that's the whole point why are you all upset about that I am medium latina skin but i do look really white and with this lining i'm looking even whiter so okay sure you want to look if you want to tell me white that's okay i know i'm not dark skin if anything i'm medium and it's still worse for me so why are you guys upset if it's based for a certain audience it actually is not it's definitely for all audience this is the very first product that is absolutely for every skin type every skin concern that we usually looking for which is anti-aging and scar and corrections and it is also for dark skin so why is that the problem deep tones need to be taken care of as well and i am all for it and kudos to rihanna because she is definitely killing it and i am so obsessed about the fact that she is being so inclusive because another thing that i've seen a lot is that a lot of people say as a myth that black people shouldn't use SPF or they don't need SPF. I'm like, who the hell told you that? Absolutely everybody needs SPF. But like, what, 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 where did this came from? I am so upset that that was even a thing. So yes, absolutely every skin color needs SPF. And even more if you're doing excessive exfoliation, as well as if you're doing like different ABH, HA, AHAs, or if you're doing retinol, you need that SPF because SPF is protecting your skin underneath so you won't have any dark spots coming out with the age and you just need it everybody needs SPF but this is the one downside when it comes to SPF when it comes to deep tones they are not able to use every single SPF out there and this is why you have mineral and you have chemical when it comes to mineral it does leave a white cast on your skin and I have noticed even me having like really light skin when I do have mineral SPF like a uh, Morad vitamin C comes to mind it did have a small white cast for a little bit and that obviously will make them look a little bit more ashy in a deep skin tone that it will be a lighter skin but that is only when it comes to minerals when it comes to chemical they are invisible and they're way easier for a deep tone to be used however it's not a lot in the market and sometimes I feel like it could be a little bit drying depending so guess what Fenty looked into it and they got an SPF that is absolutely invisible and I can 100% I can 100% tell you this is invisible as soon as you put it on your skin so don't get fooled that it comes in a cream style it definitely blends so so good and you will not see it so if you're deep skin tone 
be not afraid. Don't be afraid of this. This is definitely the product for you to use in an everyday basis, at least for your morning routine. And I, um, I'm loving this. I definitely like it. I feel like the smell on all items, this is probably the strongest and I'm gonna get into this in a second. But definitely recommend this and this is definitely the best SPF I feel right now out there for anybody with deep skin tone or anybody that is light skin tone but just doesn't want to deal with the white cast, definitely a plus. Alright, so next thing I'm gonna get into is the ingredients. And for what I've seen, ingredients seem to be absolutely amazing. Even though I don't necessarily know a lot about this, I have done my own research and I have tried to keep up with things that, you know, are good for my skin. And for one thing, these products are absolutely vegan. Yes, they are vegan and they're cruelty free and this is amazing and I think that Rihanna is killing it on that one as well because we need to have more companies that are vegan and cruelty free at least cruelty free. I don't know if vegan sometimes so is possible for some of these products, but come on, why are we still testing on animals? They can't even tell you if the product is working for them, so why don't you just freaking use it on people that wanna get paid to test products? A lot of people are willing to try products and get paid, so pay them, stop dealing with the animals. We don't wanna see any more uh, products that are not cruelty free, so please get on that if you are any other but Fenty, because Fenty is doing it and we are here for it. So I do have some notes down here, so if you see me looking down, I'm just going over my notes. So ingredient wise, we have Barbados Sherry, green tea, niacinamide, which is so good. Like I have a lot of products that have niacinamide, nine, oh, niacinamide? Niacinamide. I always get lost with that word, but I, if anything, I'll just put it right here so you guys can read it correctly. But niacinamide is amazing. It's good for your skin. It's good for your dark spots. It's good for your acne scars. It's good for your cells. So it's really, really good. It's good for treating acne that hasn't come out yet. So it's a little bit of preventive. So really, really, really good. Definitely something that you should have on your skincare for sure. Even if it's not just Fenty skin, even if it's something else. Um, uh, the Ordinary has a really good one if you want to check it out and it's really cheap. Next one is Ginkgo Biloba, which you probably have heard of for supplement. So pretty good. It's usually known as a good supplement, so they add it as well. You also have Hydraulic Acid. You have Witch Hazel, which a lot of people are a little bit upset about. And honestly, I am not. I use Witch Hazel myself and I have a pretty problematic problematic skin because my skin would either be super dry and flaky or it will become really oily at the end of the day or I will have patches of dry skin and then my t-zone will be super oily and honestly I am all about witch hazel as long as you're using a pretty good moisturizer you are good to go if you're using uh, witch hazel which is an astringent but honestly the moisturizer that you have right here and honestly any good moisturizer will take care of any drying astrogen that might make dry your skin so just don't be worried about that just worry about your moisturizing afterwards that's all you have to be really thinking of the other one is baobab which is an american tree that grows nutrients and supposedly has really good benefits so they have that one they have the japanese raising tree and they also have cactus flower which i've seen everywhere cactus is like a new ingredient list in a lot of products and for last is the calamari melon so really good very early as well as a lot of fruits extracts so i am all for it i really like that so i'm really appreciative of those ingredients as well as very like fruity type of extracts which i'm okay with it i even saw that the cleanser has like coconut acid which i have never seen and i do love coconut so i'm all for it all right so let's go ahead on to the product itself and then the first one is the total cleanser remover all cleanser and this is a cleanser and a makeup remover both in one and uh, let me tell you it does work it did remove almost absolutely everything you can use this one twice and it will work as a double cleanser or you can use another cleanser on top of it or before it and let me just tell you it is so important so important that you double cleanse even if you're not using this it is so important that you double cleanse when you wear makeup because makeup does get stuck in the pores and a makeup remover wipe is not going to do all the work for you so make sure you're doing either makeup eraser first or this first and then makeup eraser afterwards or you're using your double cleansers or you just making sure that that skin is clear don't over strip it but make sure that you remove absolutely everything on your makeup otherwise you will break out so it's a makeup remover and a cleanser and it is so good and it makes really 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 good foam so it lathers so so good i went a little bit crazy i'm probably gonna show you guys along this video clip but it goes amazing and once you open it i'm gonna just put like a very small click so 
I do like a dot, but if you can see it right there, it looks um, somewhat, uh, it's like an orangey color and it lathers so good, it goes so, so smooth and even literally just with water, you can already see that it's doing somewhat of a lather and it's so amazing, you only need like small peas, like very small peas and lots of water and it will foam and foam and foam. When it comes to smell, um, how can I explain this? A lot of people keep overreacting and it pisses me off, honestly, because everybody's like, oh, it's so fragrance, oh, it's so bad, like it's gonna be bad for sensitive skin. I have a bit of sensitive skin. Maybe not necessarily sensitive to fragrances, but I do have sensitive skin. And this did not bother me at all, at least for me. If you're extremely, extremely sensitive to fragrances, then you definitely should try it out first or maybe get a, a taste of somebody. Just maybe be mindful of that. But it is not extreme. It goes off right away. When you smell like it, it's like sweet, sort of fruity smell, but it's not very high. Like, do you guys, if you ever had Fenty primer, the Pro Filter primer, it has a smell to it. It's kind of that type of smell. It's very mellow, it's very subtle. It's just a little bit sweety, fruity type of smell, but it's not a huge fragrance. I don't think it's something that will really bother you. But again, I'm not an expert, so you have to try it on your own wrist, but it's not that aggressive, like they're making it seem, and it, it is not that aggressive, so don't fall into that. Next one is the Fat Water, which is so freaking cool. It looks so freaking nice. I love the color. It just smells a little bit more deep orange, transparent. And this one is a toner and a serum, both in one. And that's something I love about Fenty Skin. They are multitasking products and they are giving you amazing results with very little money. So you gotta get into it. This one, it feels really good. The smell scent, barely anything. And it is very like watery once you put it on. So don't go crazy. You have to like kind of squeeze it when you put it on because it won't come out right away. And uh, something I did notice when I do have a little bit of breakout, I felt like a tingling sensation, not necessarily burning or anything like that, but I did feel some what of a tingling sensation for uh, acne scars and some open pores that I had. So just be mindful, you will feel a tingling sensation or you could feel a tingling sensation. So don't freak out if you do, it did not do any damage. And also something that you notice, after cleansing and using the fat water, I was not that red. And usually I get really freaking red. Like you just literally, like I can just press myself in a second, it will be kind of red. So I will not, I will not say anything negative about this. I did love it. All I noticed was the tingling sensation, but it did not bother me. It went away literally seconds after it was already absorbed my skin. So not a problem at all. Absolutely amazing. And this one is rich in green tea as well as figs. And it has the Japanese raisin tree, which supposedly detoxifies as well as the cactus. That, that one is meant to hydrate your skin uh, the most. So definitely good. The next one is the Hydro Visor Invisible Moisturizer with SPF of 30. And this one, it is amazing. So I love this. I don't know, I just enjoy this a lot. And then I'm gonna give myself a peat size. Oh, that was a lot. I'll probably have to wear it on my skin. But this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can pick up. So you see, it's like a subtle pink. So it's the... This one was a little bit orange, this one was orange invisible, and uh, this one was orange transparent, and then this one is like kind of like a pink, and I'm gonna have to like, <laughs> where should I put this, it has SPF, I'm just gonna put it on my, on my, on this area, because I'm gonna go out in a second, so might as well just protect myself from the sun, it goes super smooth, I do love it, and then like if you look at it, my body right now, it has like a glow, do you see that? Can you see that glow? That is so good. And it does the same thing on your skin. And I already wore it underneath my makeup and it worked wonders. So definitely love the glow. And even if you want just go like this, because I am not using makeup lately when I go out of uh, the house or when I go to the job. So usually I just put this and I put my mask and move on and I look glowy, I look pretty and I don't care if my skin does not look the best right now, we're gonna rock it and we're gonna move along. So be mindful, you need to love your skin, you need to take care of your skin and you need to stop worrying what other people think of your skin. If somebody is dictating how your skin should look like or that your skin is not perfect, you put your hand and it's like, okay, good for you, I'm okay. Like, we're not doing that. We're not, I already tried what I have to try, I'm taking care of it, I'm okay with my skin. Because a lot of people sometimes, maybe they don't do it, purpose but they start saying like oh your skin you should do this you should do that i'm like 
I've done it. I will ask you if I need your advice, but I have done all that. Like, I am just struggling with my own thing. It could be hormonal. It could be a hereditary. It could be, uh, I don't know. It could be some random thing. Like, do you think they have not checked enough? Like, if they will ask for your advice if they think that your skin is good enough for the advice for them. And same thing here, like I'm just giving you my opinion with this product. It's up to you if you want to try them or not, but I do know that it's something trending and a lot of people want information on. But again, it's okay to love your skin. And if you have a bad day, like right now I have a bad day and you want to put some concealer, go ahead and do it. But don't use makeup as a mask because it will only build up on your insecurities and you will only be used to seeing yourself with makeup, which is not a good thing. You need to love yourself, love your skin first and just use makeup to enhance or perhaps be that pick me up every once in a while. But I have suffered from that and this is a little bit like story time. Uh, I had a time that I literally rely on makeup every single day and I will not leave my house until I have makeup and I hated that of myself because my insecurity for my skin became bigger than what it should have in the first place and I was like, I should be more worried in doing my own skincare and being persistent with my skincare than just covering it up and covering it up every time and not be able to be able to go to the beach without makeup because I don't want people to see my skin like no and even my boyfriend all the time tells me he prefers me without makeup so that is something that you need to find in your life you need to love yourself you need to love your skin because beauty is still there you might not see it because it's your insecurity but people can see the beauty in you regardless of having the makeup or not and Honestly, confidence talks through a lot, and I know I'm talking too much right now, but I wanted to bring this up. You know something I absolutely love and I'm always using as an inspiration is, have you noticed, even in movies or in person, if you've seen anybody, usually when you meet somebody that is a drag queen or transgender, they are freaking amazing. They have so much power, they have so much confidence, they have so much love for themselves and that's what you need to look forward to. You need to love yourself as strong as that because they will either be in their full glam or they will be on their non-glam or they will be in a show or they will be out of the show taking off their makeup and they will give you the same attitude, the same energy, the same love, they will speak to you the same way and I've noticed sometimes when I have no makeup I will probably be a little bit different, a little bit less confident, I'm like hell no we're gonna have this attitude 24 7 and even if you notice I have a lot more videos lately where I am full breakout and I still do the video and I still show you what my skin looks like even if it's hair related and that's okay and we need to love ourselves for it and sometimes it's not even that bad like sometimes I look back and I'm like that's not even that bad I have had worse days so love yourself and just if you need inspiration search from people that inspire you and get good inspiration don't do it just because of makeup because even they will tell you they love makeup for their shows but they love themselves before anything in this world and that's the important thing you need to love your skin and you need to work on your skin because if you really want really good makeup you have to have a good canvas and your skin is your canvas so you have to take care of that you need to make sure that you are learning skincare rather than makeup so if you're looking at makeup videos all the time stop doing that and stop looking onto skincare videos and find somebody that you want to stick around and try their tips so anyways Let's just go ahead and continue because I got sidetracked, but this is something I wanted to bring up in my videos before. So, with this moisturizer, really good that you use an SPF. This is an SPF and it's also a moisturizer. Really good moisturizer, SPF, super invisible. You saw it, as soon as I put it, it disappeared. You don't even see it. So don't get scared because it looks creamy. And this is amazing for deep tone. So if you have deep tone, you need to try this skincare. This is the skincare for you to try the very first time. And if you don't like it, then you move on to the next one, but this is definitely something you need to try. Another thing with this one, uh, I already said, you know, it's a twist cap, you can remove it and get a uh, replacement. And um, the only bad downside to this is it has SPF. And obviously at night you don't want to use SPF because you're going to bed. I will say just get another cheap uh, moisturizer or moisturizer that works for you and use that one for the night and yeah and that's it or do your overnight mask or whatever you do at night that you already use and just keep doing on that and then just keep this one for the day that's totally okay if you want to use SPF at night do it but because it doesn't have a lot of products and you don't really need it I will say keep this one for the day routine and maybe just try a different moisturizer at night but just be mindful, that's a downsize of the SPF. Not necessarily bad for you, but definitely something you want to keep in mind because you don't want to use SPF at night and you probably don't want to waste product that you can use the next morning. So that's on that. All right, so next part, the price. 
as you know, I did receive two free products, so I don't know if that was included or that was a mistake or what happened there. But the price of these all together was, I believe, $75, and then it was five something for shipping, so it was about like 80 bucks. $78 for three items is an amazing price. And if you do notice, most products are like 30, 20, 20, something like that. So they're all pretty much end up coming as in 20, 30 dollars each. And that's amazing for skincare like that is super amazing for skincare and even like i was surprised that she did this because even her makeup is a little bit pricey sometimes and like even her foundation is like 40 dollars. so these one of these is not 40 dollars, and that is freaking amazing she really did this and she did say that she wanted to be affordable and that she thought that skincare should not be something that people should not be able to afford the skincare should be something super affordable super available for absolutely everybody and she definitely i feel like she's given amazing products for that price like i feel like these products could have gone way higher because usually sometimes just an spf or like a moisturizer spf will be like 40 dollars. so i thought this could be like 40 dollars, and actually it is not so definitely good price point and if you get the full set you get cheaper because you only pay i feel like you save like ten dollars or twenty dollars i don't know i'll have to put it down below but definitely amazing i absolutely love it so oh also i wanted to say the smell on this one it is the strongest of all the smells i can tell you that this one does smell um this one has a apricot sweet kind of apricot scent to it it is a little high it does go off right away but you might need to be mindful of that because it is very subtle afterwards but you can kind of smell it but it's really good and i'm not about sweet perfumes i'm not about fruity perfumes but this one i'm okay with it i do like it on my skincare i do love the glow and i'm okay with it but yes it does have a sweet sort of apricot peaches type of smell really good though so keep in mind for this one but i think that's all i wanted to cover on this video my final thoughts is as you probably already wonder definitely a big recommendation in my end i only been using it for a week now but so far it's amazing even if you just want to have maybe it doesn't do everything for my acne maybe it doesn't do everything for my scars but it's definitely going to do something it's definitely going to help me with the anti-aging it's definitely going to help me with the spf and it's definitely going to help me to remove my makeup which to me is all pluses because usually i have literally like 10 different products for each thing so this is only three and again you're getting two in one for each you're getting absolutely inclusivity for every single skin tone, every single skin concern. You're getting anti-aging, you're getting SPF, you're getting uh, your serum, which is so important and I do love. But I do love how that serum is. Like, it's literally a fat water and I love it. Uh, and you're also getting pretty good fragrance to it. I do like fragrances on my products. Most people don't, but I do. And the fragrances are really subtle. And I do have really freaking good taste buds and as well as scent, uh, smells so believe me i know what i'm talking about it's not that strong and what else it is rihanna's product so i don't know i'm i do i don't know i'm not a huge fan of rihanna who killed me like it's okay i'm not a huge fan of rihanna as other people but i do love i love a lot of her songs like diamonds in the sky that's like my favorite of all time but i'm not a big fan of a lot of people uh not like a like a fan girl but i definitely do like certain people and i do like her and i do love her beauty and i am trying to see if i like her underwear line i'm not so sure about that one but when it comes to skin and the uh skincare as well as the beauty i'm all in i'm definitely loving it i need to get more products from her so thank you so much for watching if you like this video please put a thumbs up subscribe and let me know down in the comments what do you think was your favorite do you want to try this have you tried it yet and i don't know if you would like me to review any other product i'm listening so just let me know down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next video bye